Hello hello. Welcome back to another 3JS video. Today, we are going to create a third person shooter game, using the AmmoJS physics engine. Third person shooter, or TPS, is a game structured around shooting, in which the player can see the avatar on screen in a third person view. The outcome of our game will be something like this. It's nothing like a AAA game but the mechanics are there. You can modify this to your imagination as you like. The objective of this game, is to shoot and change all the balls to red in the fastest time you can. But avoid hitting a ball that is already red, or it will be transformed into a different color. Before we start coding, please make sure to have the 3JS and MOJS plugins installed. I will have all the links below just in case you need them. Let us get started. First, let's create the scene. This scene will have a background color and fog enabled with parameters including color, near distance as 1 and far distance as 26. Now let's set the camera. First, we need to import the scene we just created. We're going to create a perspective camera with the field of view set as 70. And add to the scene. Next, we'll create the character. We're just going to create a simple blue cube. It will cast and receive shadows. And we will name it player. We will also create another cube, which will be a lot smaller, as a visual for the gun. It will be colored yellow. It will also cast and receive shadows as well. We will add the gun to the character. So the gun is a child of the character. Now, let's configure and set up the AmmoJS physics engine. We need to initialize the collision configuration, dispatcher, broad phase and solver. We will set the down gravity to minus 10. Also, we are going to create a create rigid body module to handle all the rigid bodies. It will take in five parameters, physics world, three object, physics shape, the mass, the position, and the quaternion. This function will set the mass, identity, origin, rotation and motion state to the 3JS object. It will then add the object to the scene. And finally, we need to create a update physics module that will continually loop during the 3JS request animation frame. This module will loop through each rigid body and set the 3JS object position and rotation to the physical world. We already set up the physics world. Now, let's initialize the 3JS. Let's add the frame rate stats. Set the camera to look at the center position of the scene. We'll set up a follow camera and add to the scene. The follow camera will be parent to the character. Next, set up the WebGL renderer. I disable the shadows as my video card can't handle it. You can enable them as you wish. Going to add some ambient light and add it to the scene. Also a directional light to the scene. If we run this, there isn't much we are going to see. It is just a red screen. Here is the FPS stats indicator we added. Let's add a plane. We're going to have our plane look like a grid. In order to do that, we need to create two different floors. The first floor will be just plain black material. This will be positioned just below the second floor. The second floor will be a black material with a 0.5 opacity and with transparency. We're going to set the cast and receive shadow to true. We'll also need to define an ammo physical shape for this floor. In order to show the grid layout visuals, we need to use the grid helper and add to the scene. And finally, we create the rigid body for the floor. And if we run it now, you can actually see something. See the grid that we just created, and also the red fogs are visible now. 
I add a few more elements to the screen. A red squared wall around the grid. Now, let's add the character and the controls to the scene. Previously, we have already created the character. Now, we just need to add the rigid body to the character, and then add to the scene. This is a function that will listen to the player's movement. The movement is tracked by the key pressed, W, S, A, D, and the rotation is tracked by the mouse movement. You can see now, the character is visible and the controls are working. It feels like a racing game due to physics, as the movements are being applied as a force. Let's add some enemies to the game. The create ball function will spawn the enemies into the scene. It will have a random size, position, and set the rigid body component. Now all the enemies spawn in different sizes, colors and positions. There are about 25 of them. You can also see, the physic is applied whenever the character touches, or pushes the ball. I added some background music and sound effects. And also shooting mechanics for the character. It uses ray casting to figure out what is in front of the character whenever the mouse is clicked. Once the enemy is hit, it will change to red. If it gets hit again, then a random color is selected. This is how you add audio to the game in 3JS. You will need to set the loop, by default is false. And the volume. The check collision function is the one that does the check when the gun is fired. It will loop through all the object that the raycast intersected. If it's an enemy, it will change the color to red or to a random color. Once all the balls have turned red, the game will end, and the game over music will play. I added an intro screen to the game. All of this is done by HTML and CSS. Once you get the last ball, the game is paused and the game over music will start playing. So, that's about it everyone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will have all the resources down below. Peace out. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to get video updates.